The Gull Lake Mayor's Report. Twenty thirteen was a was a very good year uh, for Gull Lake uh, overall. We had a lot of things going on. Um, certainly, we ended off uh, twenty twelve very well. Uh, we saw forty new uh, kids uh, in our school. Uh, twenty thirteen uh, this year we have uh, another nine kids. Uh, we saw the Creative Kids Early Learning Center uh, come to town, daycare center, uh, meeting our daycare needs here in the community. We're looking forward to seeing their uh, facility being uh, erected in town in the near future. Um, the council's been working uh, together with the Department of Highways and uh, the Arm of Gull Lake trying to get our dangerous goods road established. That route, of course, uh, would be south of Gull Lake uh, on the 37 on the Grain Terminal Road and would come out by Viterra, uh, routing dangerous goods route, uh, routing dangerous goods traffic, sorry, through the, uh, needing to go through the town around uh, that route. This would be a, a great uh, benefit to the community. Uh, currently, many of our residents living on Rutland Avenue have seen a, a significant uh, increase in traffic, uh, heavy traffic on those streets and we're looking forward to working uh, closely with as we have been with the Department of Highways and uh, the Arm of Gull Lake to see that come to completion. Uh, another important initiative that we've been working on, uh, you should see next year, the installation of a pedestrian crosswalk uh, that will be at the corner of Maine and Rutland. Uh, that should definitely make uh, crossing the street there significantly safer for uh, all of our residents and we're looking forward to see uh, that installed as well. Well, 2013, I think we saw a lot of things happening in Gull Lake. We saw uh, our event planning committee uh, planned our first ever Winterfest event. Uh, it, it went very well. Uh, it was a family-oriented day, and uh, we plan on doing more uh, such events, uh, or I'm sorry, we, we plan to do this uh, again this year with our next uh, Winterfest in 2014 uh, being currently planned right now. We're, we're seeing that we're hoping that's going to be bigger and better, which we know it will be. And um, so that's, that's one thing our event planning committee had been working on. Um, another important thing we saw take place this year was uh, Council's launching of our new town website. We um, started doing some marketing and promoting the town in 2012 uh, and the uh, kind of the completion of that or of th that project was to get a uh, new website up and running. Uh, the new website was launched uh, late May. Uh, very interactive, uh, contains uh, uh, lots of information about the town and the community. Uh, we also um, log, uh, or sorry, we uh, blog posts to that. Uh, news articles that relate to what's of interest to the town. That is what's going on in our community, what's going on in our region and what's going on um, uh, in the province and, and sometimes even the country. Uh, it's been very successful so far. Uh, we've, we've had about 30,000 hits to date um, and with the, the help of the uh, Gull Lake Advance so with posting articles, uh, uh, it has been a real success in getting the news out about Gull Lake, especially the good news, which is what we uh, set out to accomplish there. Um, the addition also of these videos uh, from Free Baird Services that they have done have also been uh, very uh, uh, very good at uh, getting us out on video on the internet as well so we, we've appreciated every media source that we've been able to utilize uh, to get uh, news out about Gull Lake. Um, we saw this year uh, Gull Lake's first ever participation in the Communities in Bloom program. Uh, went very well. It was chaired by uh, Mr. Councillor Ed Lohenberger, and the committee did a phenomenal job. Council uh, allocated uh, $13,500 to the committee's downtown beautification project. Uh, those funds were used to build decorative fences, uh, community gardens, um, uh, and different amenities like uh, picnic tables and, and benches and they did a, a very outstanding job. 
we also need to thank all of the many volunteers that helped uh, to uh, keep our entryways clean, keep our parks clean. Uh, all this stuff, very important to us. The um, residents as well did a very good job uh, with our yards, keeping our yards clean, not to mention uh, uh, our businesses that participated as well in, in uh, putting up uh, floral displays, uh, both in the downtown and the residential. Overall, judges came, they were very impressed. Uh, Gull Lake scored two blooms out of five. We were just one percentage point shy of three blooms and for a first time out, I think this was an outstanding achievement for our community. Certainly, the committee is going to be gearing up early in the new year to uh, plan next year's project. Um, our um, tourism committee, our tourism committee has been uh, also uh, working very hard. Uh, this year, the uh, tourism committee, I'm sorry, last year, uh, did, did our first ever uh, Christmas Cove, um, where the campsite is, is uh, decorated up uh, in a very festive manner with lights. It's an exceptional light display. Uh, we got a lot of really positive comments last year, both from residents of the community, and as I say, I've, even this year, I have had people outside of the community ask me uh, when we would be doing this, you know, when the, the date is uh, that the, uh, we'll be doing it this year. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, our Christmas Cove this year. Our tourism committee is also putting a, a focus on heritage property. So uh, one such property that you know the town has already been looking at is, is the Guy Wong Shoe Shop, but we're asking the Tourism Committee to identify uh, as many heritage properties uh, in the community as they as they are as they can. Uh, uh, certainly, our, our uh, heritage properties are are, are um, important uh, to us uh, to preserve and and uh, and to show off to you know tourists and people coming to town that you know, have an interest in, in, in the history of the town. And history is something that, that Gull Lake is very rich in. Our cemetery committee was very active this year. Purchased a pressure washer, they cleaned off uh, headstones, grave covers. Um, they also have purchased a uh, um, uh, uh, shelter that will house the uh, map of the cemetery and hopefully uh, early next year we'll have that done. They uh, also purchased uh, some uh, another bench out at the cemetery um, and a can. They do have future projects that they would like to move forward with in the future. Uh, one being a columbarium um, whereby uh, urns could be placed in that. Done in many communities. Uh, there's a significant cost to that. Uh, I'd like to add that the cemetery committee, uh, all of the projects that they uh, have worked on have uh, been used with donated funds. And if anybody would like, they certainly may make a donation to the uh, cemetery uh, at the town office. Our economic development committee this year uh, has been busy working on a number of initiatives. And as you know, in, in the recent video that was released, uh, the Head Start on Home program. Uh, invited uh, the town of Gull Lake, uh, towns of Gull Lake, Shonovan and Maple Creek to showcase their communities. Gull Lake uh, did a video uh, presentation which you can view on our website. Uh, it was very well put together, very constructive um, and is again part of our, our efforts at marketing and, and promoting our community. The uh, video uh, is a chance for potential residents looking to move to Gull Lake, businesses, Builders and Developers provides a lot of information and gives you a good look at the community of Gull Lake and we were very pleased with that. The Economic Development Committee of course will be moving on to other things. Uh, next thing I think on the agenda is going to be a possible uh, forum for our downtown. Uh, 2012, uh, late 2012, we uh, toured a number of businesses looking for um, you know what are some of the challenges that they're facing and and a number of other questions that we asked. So we're just currently going to compile that information and then see exactly how we can share that with them. And uh, purpose, of course, being so that we can get a little better understanding about the needs of our, of our business community. And, and also next year, uh, the hope will be to extend that out to our uh, commercial light industrial um, 
um, residents or uh, businesses as well. Uh, we need to have a, a good connection with our businesses, all of our businesses in our community, uh, to see what, what, if anything, we can do to help them along, and, uh, and we're looking forward to those opportunities. Lastly, uh, of course, we're once again in the, in the Christmas season, and I would like to take this opportunity to uh, wish all of uh, our residents uh, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.